This is one of a series of videos from the People's Trust for Endangered Species on practical orchard skill. This video explains how and why to summer prune apple and pear trees. Summer pruning is a good way of getting rid of excess growth in your fruit trees. Especially after you've winter pruned your tree, like this one's been winter pruned, um, your tree might put on a lot of vigorous bushy growth in the summer. A lot of this growth will be surplus to requirements uh, and is cluttering up the tree. So we'll want to get rid of most of this, keeping a couple to turn them into fruit and spurs. Pruning this crowded growth out in the summer means that more of the energy from the tree will go into fruit production and not into more leafy growth. It also means more air and light can get to the tree and to the ripening fruit. We don't want any of these shoots to turn into branches, so most of these we're going to cut out completely and turn a couple of them into new fruiting spurs. Summer pruning isn't always necessary, especially on older trees that don't have much new growth. Most full-size trees only require summer pruning the summer after a heavy winter prune or after significant damage like the loss of a limb, both of which can shock a tree into overproducing new leafy growth. Timing is crucial with summer pruning. If you prune too early, your tree will continue to grow and that material will be soft and sappy going into winter and it probably will die back. If you prune too late, it doesn't give the scars enough time to heal before winter and again you could risk dieback. The point at which you want to summer prune your tree is when roughly three quarters of your growing buds have set. So this example, these leaves are all mature, this growing bud has set, whereas these are a bit pale and springy, this is still growing. So when three quarters of your growth on your tree looks more like this than this, that's about the time you want to summer prune. This is normally the last week of July or the first week of August. With every shoot of new growth, you have four options in a summer prune. Option one is to leave it. If the shoot is well positioned, you can leave it to produce a new branch, the leaves of which will provide energy for the tree throughout the growing season. Option two is to cut it. If the shoot is surplus to requirements, cut it off at the base. Option three is to create a new fruiting spur. If your shoot is coming from a framework branch or other large branch, cut it down to three buds. And option four is to extend a spur. If your shoot is coming from an existing fruiting spur, cut the new growth down to one bud. When summer pruning, you only ever want to cut out this year's growth. If you want to take out material any older than this, it's best to wait and do it with a winter prune. Decide which shoots you're going to turn into fruiting spurs and cut the rest out from the base. In this example, we're going to use this one, this one and this one to turn into fruiting spurs and the rest we will cut out from the base. To create a new fruiting spur, you want to cut a couple of mil above the third obvious bud on this year's growth. This is the point of origin of this year's growth, and this is one, two, three buds above it. You want to cut at a slight angle away from the bud. Any new material coming from an existing fruit spur should be cut to one bud. This encourages that bud to turn into a fruiting bud next year. So in this example, this is the old material, this is the point of new growth, and this is the first bud from that new growth. So I'll cut it down to this bud here. So this is the point of our year wood. So I'm going to cut it at the first bud from there, which is on the other side. And up here, the first bud is about less than an inch from the beginning of the year wood. Where the first bud is less than an inch from the beginning of this year's wood, cut it to the second bud instead. summer pruning this tree for this year 
We've taken out all of the vigorous water sheet growth from the centre of the tree, leaving a couple of them to turn into new fruiting spurs, and we've generally thinned out the new growth from the rest of the tree. For more information about pruning and other instructional guides, visit www.pte.s.org forward slash orchards.